Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization and we are purpose to create a new earth through the creation of self-sufficient and self-sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to be built all over the world. And our path to making this possible is open source and free sharing blueprints for everything necessary to build seven different sustainable village models. And so this is our update for the week of May 13th, 2000, May 13th, 2013. And um, here's what we accomplished in the last week. Uh, a lot of stuff continues to happen behind the scenes. Uh, Doug, our architect, has, and I'll include, I'll, I'll do a written blog as I always do, so if you want to see the pictures and images and everything that I'm talking about, uh, click on the link down below and you can visit the uh, website blog, the written blog, which will have a, this video as well as all of the images and more details on what I'm talking about. So this last week, um, Doug, our architect, redrew the Earthbag Village one more time. It's still not done. We've, <laughs> we've got to move the windows so they're all south facing and we've got a couple other details that we need to adjust on that to get it ADA compliant. And these updates are all based on the, uh, the elevation changes that we made because of the plumbing plans which continue to move forward. We also have our initial plumbing sketch uh, that we put up there that I'll put up as well so you can see what's going on with plumbing. Um, and we're still working on 3D for the Earthbag Village. So we are, John Bassist is, is putting the finishing touches, hopefully, on the hands feature that will be uh, garden terraces inside of the tropical atrium, demonstrating uh, tropical food production and a social and recreational environment. And so we've gone through four different iterations of the hands at this point, and we think that we finally got it nailed down. We had no idea that it would be this difficult but uh, we're, we're putting the wraps on it, and then we can get back to focusing on 3D of the entire village model. So, um, yeah, and then as far also with the Tropical Atrium, we continue to work on the Tropical Atrium planting page, and it's still got a ton of work to not do, but we finally formatted all of the, the, the descriptions, the initial descriptions, so that they match with the plants, and we've got it now broken up into three sections, which is placement, and um, considerations and actually additional information which will be Wikipedia links um, that will be added to every one of those plants as well so people can easily get more information on that and then eventually we're going to build out a second and a third tier series of links with that that will have more detailed planting instructions and um, preparation instructions for fruits and vegetables and things like that as well as uh, nutrient cons uh, nutrient values and, thing and uh, as much detail as we can put in there to make it as comprehensive as possible. And so that first page, we've just been putting a ton of work and working it and reworking it, reorganizing it that we have completed. Uh, well, we've completed what we know it's gonna look like now. And so we're just doing the final, the final edits on the information off the website so that we can put it on the website in a really simple form that's bullet points for the considerations and one really clean paragraph for the description and just a couple sentences for the placement tied in with a map that to that shows where everything goes and so it's uh, it's coming along and uh, I would love to say that we're gonna finish that this week I think I've said that a couple weeks now that I thought we were gonna finish it the good news is is it's gotten better and better and better and so yeah, a lot of work happening on the on on the Earthbag Village Pod One. Uh, additionally, Carl Harris and Andrew Sedera have done uh, a bunch of work. Are working on 3D now for the Sego Center City Hub, and so I'll post another export on that. We've been having computer problems exporting, like actually rendering the 3D images that we have. So we've been having to take screenshots of our or pictures rather of our computer rather than being able to render those but we'll show you the most recent uh, screenshot of what's happening with the Sego Center 3D and now we're working on on the process of getting a geodesic dome into 3D we'd love to do it in CAD or Revit and um, is that's proving to be really really difficult and so we're on some of the geodome forums talking to them to see how we can do this and exploring what we can do with SketchUp as well for those that have been following our project, as soon as all this stuff is done, once it's actually ready to be built, we'll put all those CAD files up and we'll put any Revit files that we have and SketchUp files, everything will be out there in open source so people can take the work, which now has been, man, it's been over a year of work on this and we'll eventually we'll be putting the building plans and everything else up there. People will be able to take that information and build off of that, use that as a project launch point to create their own city hub. 
uh, modeled after the Sego Center. And so that continues to move forward. Uh, the Education for Life program is uh, we've completed our assessment of all of the most revolutionary strategies out there that we're aware of. Regio, ORF, uh, Montessori, Waldorf, uh, Study Tech, and um, am I missing one? Oh, the Aid Intelligences, as well as Bloom's Taxonomy. Aid Intelligences was the final one that we needed to do, and so we are complete on that. That's a big action item checked off. And so we're just doing the final editing and just re reviewing all that and looking for input if anybody has any additional ideas and then taking all that research that we did and propagating it across the rest of the Education for Life program so that those details are included in the various sections that they're meant to be. And now we've started on and we're almost done on the curriculum component as well. So the last one that we're working on there behind the scenes is the uh, knowledge and wisdom curriculum component. And then we've got all the other ones that are done. There's a couple more that still need to be put on the website, but really they're 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 done. And so it's just uh, you know it's the work of putting it out there so that it's available. And we're starting then to work on the um, well. Stephanie is working on the evaluation aspect, and so we've got a new page up for the evaluation and evolution component for how to evolve any learning environment proactively as a collaborative effort between the teacher and the students so that both individuals are learning within that environment and growing together in a collaborative effort to just for self-improvement and improving the learning process itself and so that page is up and then um, as I said we're almost done with the curriculum and so we're about to start on or we are starting this week now on strategies of uh, amazing teachers leaders and communicators and so we're putting all those details together and starting to work on that as well so super crazy exciting progress there and then the big 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 well, we'll get two big and other announcements are um, we've completed our website migration the whole website has moved over we've shortened all the URLs we have simplified simplified all the URLs and we've created a better structure for navigating through the entire website and so now we are engaging in eliminating the redundancy on our website and cleaning up, uh, further cleaning up the open source portals and making it easier to navigate through our website, reducing, reducing the pages down if we can so that our message is clear and what it is that we're creating um, because we've had a lot of communication. It's like, well, a lot of it was a result of, of massive website optimization and we have the old website which is optimized. So this new website, we don't have to really spend any energy or time on optimizing we're spending our time and energy on simplifying and clarifying what our message is. And so the timing with that is really good because our other big announcement, other than migrating the whole website over, is that our seller for the property just offered us new terms. They offered us a 25-year agreement with 10% down on the property and 2% um, above prime. It's It doesn't really get any better than that. And so... Uh, tonight, I'm going to, you know, in an hour here, we're going to have our, our team call and we're really going to talk about how we can capitalize on this because ultimately we would just love to get the property off the market. And so ultimately what we're seeking to do is re-engage everybody that we've talked about that, that might be interested in funding a project like this, engaging new groups that we haven't already thought about, coming up with a really clear additional strategy on top of what we've been doing to really engage these groups and say, hey, Here's your opportunity. The, the bank, any, any bank uh, limitations that were there are now gone because we have seller financing. We have the property that would be the investment. The individual would be investing in the property. And so that would be their securing their investment essentially. And we wouldn't move on to the property as one community until we owned it outright and could uh, and were totally funded for the rest of the project as well, which is a $5.5 million project. So um, getting the property off the market is the number one thing that we really, really need to focus on right now. And um, along with all the infrastructure and everything else that we could do, but if we could just get that property secured, that we feel that that would really help us to legitimize our project to a whole new level, to complete our team, and to start having a, a new level of conversation with a lot of the organization and groups and, and people that we're working with as far as the level of detail and open source um, content that we're producing. And so... It's exciting to have this this movement, this development, something that, that we've been hoping for for a long time. And so this week we're going through the process of updating our funding page 
And if you want to see that, uh, it's onecommunityglobal.org forward slash funding. And uh, you can see exactly what it is that we're seeking as far as funding is concerned. And so that's our update. I'll include all of the pictures and everything that I just talked about in, uh, in the written blog. And you can take a look at that, those as well as links to everything else that I've discussed here. And I'll wrap up with that. Just say thanks for following our project, as always. Um, if you'd like to get involved, uh, people that we're really seeking right now is engineers. I could, our team could put to work a team of three or four engineers if we had them right now. Mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, but especially structural engineers. We would love to, we've got the cupola on the Sego Center that still needs engineering. Um, P2S Engineering is looking at mechanical, electrical, and plumbing for the Sego Center. And so we've, we've got that covered, but we really need mechanical, electrical, plumbing, engineering on the Aquapinis and the Wallapinis and the Zen Aquapinis, as well as uh, structural engineering for some of the, for the tropical atrium, for the roof on the tropical atrium, and a bunch of other little details. And so that's coming along. <laughs> it is coming along. So not as many um, uh, website updates, I think, this week as, as in past weeks, but we've got just so many things that are brewing and that the team is working on uh, collaboratively and, and uh, together that we've, we're going to have some really amazing stuff to put out and that, the, the, as I've been saying now for weeks, it's just amazing how much time it takes to do some of this stuff, but the tropical atrium planting and harvesting page with all of the purchasing details and things like that, it is, uh, it's a fine example of what's possible and what we're, what we're doing with our open source project launch blueprinting. And so I am crossing my fingers and hoping that we as a team can get this thing done this week. It's just, uh, man, it's just a massive effort that has, you know, four or five people working on it simultaneously, two or three people on the website doing edits simultaneously, tag teaming on that. And, you know, and then the, the other two people that are working on the actual content for that and refining that, it's a, it's a really big deal. But when it's done, it'll, it'll be exactly what we want to demonstrate as everything that we're doing as far as our open source blueprints and our creation process. So it's coming along. Thanks, everyone, for following our project. We, uh, we love and appreciate every single one of you that, that, uh, that are just that are, that are paying attention to what's happening. Thanks to all our partners and consultants. Of course, thanks to the amazing team that we have. And we will keep on keeping on, as I say to the team, play on. That's what we're doing. And if you're somebody that would like to join our project and get involved, by all means, please consider doing so. We would love to have you as part of our organization, as part of our group, either as a consultant or a partner or as a one community pioneer interested in moving onto the property as well. So with that, thank you very much. Have a beautiful week. That's us checking in for the week of May 13th, 2013 progress report for one community. Thanks, everyone.